Today's Ask Zap Your Question comes from Tony D, who wants to know the best way to copy or clone zaps to save time field mapping. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, there are two main ways that you can copy or clone zaps. First, if you want to copy a Zap to use yourself or share with colleagues on a team or company's plan, you'll want to log into your Zap Your account. And when you see the list of all of your zaps, click the arrow next to the zap you want to copy. You'll be able to have a new version of the same exact zap that you can customize without making any changes to your original zap. With this method, you might be able to get away without mapping any data. For example, let's say that you don't make any changes in your trigger step other than selecting a new Google Sheet with the same column names. You'll want to make sure, though, that you test it and that you see all your data flowing through the way you expect to make sure that everything is running the way that you want. And the second way, if you want to share a Zap with somebody outside your organization, you can use the Zap sharing function. You'll find that when you're on the page where you edit your Zap, there's a blue share button in the top right. Click that, you'll find a link, copy the link, and when you paste that anywhere, someone who clicks on it will be taken into a kind of copied version of your Zap with all of your information removed, but the fields kind of mapped through that they can customize and set up with their own apps. It retains some field mapping, but you'll always want to make sure that people, you or whoever you share it with, confirm that everything is transferring as expected, particularly if you're making changes to steps that send information ahead to later spots within your Zap. This is a kind of complicated topic, so we've gone through and done some more of a walkthrough in the blog article that accompanies this. You can find that by going to zapier.com slash blog slash ask dash zapier and head down to the lower part of that article where you'll find a list of all of the ask zapier questions that we've answered so far. You'll be able to head over and take a look at that and ask, ask your own question if you have one. Thanks so much.